there was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. The crooked man stepped forth and rang the crooked bell. And thus his crooked soul spiraled into a crooked hell, murdered his crooked family and laughed a crooked laugh. Valak, as the crooked man, its own twisted rendition of there was a crooked man. Within the realms of folklore, mythology, and supernatural tales, countless demons have captivated the human imagination. One such entity that's gained significant attention in recent times is Valak, a demon associated with the Conjuring universe and featured prominently in the Conjuring 2 film. Valak, portrayed as a menacing nun, has since become an iconic figure of horror. Valak's portrayal in the Conjuring films has led to an increased interest in the demon's history and mythology. Fans of the horror franchise have explored the roots of Valak, seeking information beyond the cinematic universe. Welcome back to Factolic Pop, and today we're going to delve into the enigmatic history of Valak, exploring its origins, characteristics, and enduring presence in popular culture. Skeptics are quick to dismiss the veracity of horror movies that claim to be based on real events, but references to the demon Valak, the one at the center of the nun, stretch back centuries. Now, for your easier understanding, we've divided this video into three parts, and we'll first dive into this frightening being's origin and history. Valak, a demon with ancient origins, can be traced back to the 17th century grimoire, the Lesser Key of Solomon, or Lamegaton. Described as a great president of hell who commands thirsty legions of demons, Valak is associated with a list of 72 demons vanquished by King Solomon. The grimoire provides their names and instructions for expelling them. Contrary to its depiction in The Conjuring 2, Valak is described as a small child with angel wings riding a two-headed dragon in a 17th century demon hunting manual. While the Bible contains no mention of Solomon's 72 demons, the grimoire was considered heretical and banned by the church, but it remained popular in Europe. Valak's origins can also be found in Johann Weyer's Pseudo-Monarchia Daemonum, where he's identified as a fallen angel rejected by God and trapped in hell until almost freed by the Duke. The name Valak is derived from the Hebrew term Valk, meaning creature or monster. It's also sometimes spelled as V-A-L-A-C or U-A-L-A-C. Up next, we move on to the Conjuring universe. Valak, also known by its alternate avatars, Crooked Man or The Nun, is the overall main antagonist of the Conjuring universe, serving as the overarching antagonist of the 2013 horror film The Conjuring, the main antagonist of The Conjuring 2 and The Nun, and the overarching antagonist of Annabelle Creation. The film's success propelled Valak's image into the mainstream, sparking intrigue and curiosity about the demon's origins. In the actual franchise, it first appeared in The Conjuring 2. Valak translated means someone. Also, it's a demon, which means he's a fallen angel sent to hell by St. Michael the Archangel. Valak has many forms, including the Crooked Man, the demon shown when Ed and Peggy try to get the young daughter Janet Hodgson, and finally his original form, which is seen by Ed and Lorraine's daughter Judy Warren. Finally, Valak was sent back to hell by Lorraine by using its own name against it, who, not realizing, would actually save Ed and Janet from death. In The Nun, another installment of the Conjuring Horror series, a Romanian monastery is haunted by a demonic presence dressed in the garb of a Catholic nun, which turns out to be Valak again. I've seen her stalking the hallways at night. We all have. 
She looks like us, but she's not one of us. It's something unholy. It takes on different forms to deceive us and prey on our weaknesses. It appears as a nun so it can hide among her cloister until it can corrupt us all. In Annabelle Creation, Sister Charlotte shows Mr. Mullins a picture of herself during her time at the Abbey in Romania with three other nuns. Mr. Mullins asks who the nun in the background of the photograph is. Sister Charlotte looks at the nun, revealing Valak to be standing behind her in the picture. She tells him she doesn't remember who that sister is. In Annabelle Comes Home, during the events of the film, Judy accidentally switches on the projector, showing the events of the exorcism of Maurice Thoreau, with Valak starting to manifest from within. In 2022, it was confirmed Valak will return for The Nun 2, a direct sequel to the original movie set to take place in France. And it's already been confirmed that Valak is indeed coming back to haunt moviegoers yet again on the 8th of September. So I hope you're all prepared because it most definitely isn't for the faint-hearted. What did you see? I saw none. Last but not least, let's finally move on to the Warrens. As it turns out, there is some truth to all of these storylines. Lorraine Warren was a real person, and she was really a paranormal investigator who encountered a presence in a church. Ed and Lorraine Warren first came into the spotlight after their initial investigation into the famous Amityville haunting in 1976. Lorraine Warren claimed to be a clairvoyant and medium, while her husband was a self-professed demonologist. The Warrens, who were devout Catholics, claim to have investigated over 10,000 cases of paranormal activity over the course of their career. And according to the Warrens' son-in-law, the Warrens encountered a spectral nun while on a trip to the haunted Borley Church in southern England in the 1970s. According to lore, the churchyard's ghost was a nun who had been buried alive in the brick walls of the convent centuries ago after having had an affair with a monk. Lorraine Warren allegedly met that ghost face to face at midnight one evening in the church graveyard and left unscathed. Well, that's it for this video, folks. That was all about the terrifying Valak. We hope that this helped you in providing a much deeper insight into the demon and its history. Or did we miss something? If so, go ahead and let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you all. And most importantly, thanks to you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, because if you don't, Valak's going to show up at your doorsteps. Anyways, I hope you all have a fine day ahead, and stay tuned for more Factolic Pop. This is your host, Scott Leffler, signing off. Peace.